The question is, would you rather date the blind or the deaf? Ah, see, ah, now you're off on the top. That's see? Interesting. see, now I think I would rather date the deaf. Uh huh. Because I think the blind would probably be a little messy around the house. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, they're not going to get all the crumbs. You're constantly walking around with a sponge. See, I disagree. I would rather date the blind. You know, you, you could let the house go, you let yourself go. A good looking blind woman doesn't really know that you're not good enough for her. I think she figured out soon. <laughs> You know what? Uh, maybe I should stay with you. I wouldn't want to break anything. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're not going to break anything. <laughs> oh, Granny, I, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, that's okay. Heard my office is out of control. Phones ringing, people running in and out. <laughs> <laughs> you hear something? No, I, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> huh. That's strange. Well, it's quieter down here. We can... Concentrate that people whooshing around. <laughs> What's happened? Ah, oh, Nigel. Um, Jocelyn, is she all right? Don't go in there. Why not? Uh, it's bad luck to see the bride before the wedding. <laughs> I'll say. <clears throat> Maybe I should get a nanny. Oh, you really should, with one baby and another one on the way? And two more at home. Oh, honey, you don't need a nanny. You need a hobby. Stop it! Been to a bridge before? No. I've been to a few of them. If you uh, start to get woozy later, which is quite common, you know, stay close to me, I'll get you through it. <laughs> I'm a cardiologist. I think I'll manage. <laughs> Excuse me. I was walking behind you and you dropped your wallet. I have a four octave range and I studied acting with Stella Adler. Very impressive. I can also stand on my hands and do a full split. You've got the part. Oh, thank you, Mr. Sheffield. I can't wait to work for you. Oh, God, I want your job. Excuse me, can you break a 20? The cab driver's holding on to it till I can get... Change. Well, it doesn't matter. This part is mine. Uh, blue is my lucky color, and look, the entire house is done in blue. Hey, sure. <laughs> and you must look exactly like Jerry. You don't see this? Oh, you're like twins. Woo this is Harry. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Janet doesn't look anything like Jerry. Maybe we do look a little like each other. No, what do you know about what you look like? <laughs> That's a nice watch, George. Yeah. You know, my boyfriend has the same one. <laughs> really? Yeah, he loves watches. He's a real watch freak. Well, how about that? <laughs> oh, look out. We stepped right in it. Yes, I sure did. Well, Brian, this is Leslie. I have to talk about this replacement Miss Babcock sent over. I don't like her. I don't like her at all. <laughs> Why not? She's doing a wonderful job. She's very efficient. Well, I don't know. There's just something about her that rubs me the wrong way. Hello, hello. <laughs> Maxwell, here are the documents from your attorney. Niles, there's something stuck to your hair. What? A big, fat, ugly butler. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Hardwood floors. <laughs> Aren't they great? Oh, Scott, hi. Uh, this is George. Uh, George, nice this is you. Scott, my roommate. Hey. Here, check out this view. If you lean out this window, you can see the river. Pleasure finally to meet my son's American guests. Six, seven, and five. Oh, great. All right, with the wine, I'm in over twenty dollars uh, now. How's it going, man? the devil, big coat, big coat. Yes. I'm sorry, it's a new coat. It, it's Gore-Tex. You better be careful with that thing. To start a war. This prison stinks. And finally, the library, which has just been refurbished thanks to your generous donation. This is Celia Morgan, our librarian. Nice to meet you. I'll be in my office if you need me. 
Thanks, Warden. Betsy. <laughs> Betsy. I'm here to see Brighton Sheffield. Where is he? Is he okay? They just brought him down from a cat scan. He's back in his room. You his mother? Well, obviously, it doesn't say his age on that chart. I'm his nanny. <laughs> Get the bag and get off the plane. Okay, okay. Champagne? Oh, thank you, yes. <laughs> oh, I just love first class. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I help you? Nope. Just uh, give the chair to the security guard. Did Mr. Ross tell you to do this? What's your name? Evan Fane. I'm engaged to Mr. Ross's niece. I'm probably gonna be taking over this whole place someday, so if I were you, I'd stay on my good side. I'm terribly sorry, I didn't know. Innocent mistake. <laughs> this is our best model, the Cougar 9000. It's the Rolls Royce of wheelchairs. This is like, you're almost glad to be handicapped. <laughs> and I've put a new twist on the tragedy. We follow Romeo and Juliet to heaven and have a happy ending. You're rewriting one of the greatest love stories of all time? We're adding a few scenes, but we're taking out others. <laughs> Frank, the important thing is he didn't get hurt. No, it isn't! <laughs> so what are you doing now, George? Excuse us, would you mind moving down a seat? There's two seats there. Yeah, but we're three. Her date is getting our refreshments. If she's on a date, who are you? The chaperone. Oh, move down to the nook schlep. Morning, Braun. Hey, George. Two cream, no sugar. What is Lloyd Braun doing here? Your mother recommended him. Yeah, of course she did. That's all I ever heard growing up is, why can't you be more like Lloyd Braun? You know, he was in a mental institution. I didn't read his resume. Another sale, Mr. Costanza. Chalk me up on the big board. What is this? This is your lagging. <laughs> Good work, Braun. Good for you, boy! <laughs> hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. <laughs> Listen, thanks for meeting me here. I would have picked you up, but the uh, car's being used. Oh, no problem, no problem. Here, I'll help you close up. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy, Mr. Eldridge. <laughs> I understand you were on the Andrea Doria. Yes, it was a terrifying ordeal. Yeah, well, I tell you, I hear people really stuff themselves on those cruise ships. <laughs> the buffet, that's the real ordeal, huh, Clarence? Well, look who I found. Oh, Wendell, I'd like you to meet my lovely wife. Yes, yeah, she's already introduced herself to me. <laughs> oh, Wendell, you misunderstood. <laughs> There's practically no one here. Well, honey, what do you expect? The man was hardly a saint. I mean, he cheated on his wife, stole money from his family. That's the mother. <laughs> mama, it's me, Jacopo. I'm here for you, Mama. Uh, George Costanza. Having dinner with your son. Whatever oh! <gasps> you got thin. Too thin? Oh, stop worrying so much about how you look. <laughs> oh my God, Yetta! What a coincidence. Saul said the same thing not ten minutes ago. I can have the table ready for you on Monday. All right, but no later, because my parents are coming back. They left you home alone, huh? Hello. Oh, uh, Elaine, uh, this is my Aunt Stella. Stella! I haven't been here since I was a kid in Sunday school. When was that, Ma, 10 years ago? Please, 10 years ago she was babysitting my Rachel. You're lucky that we're in Temple, Sarah. I tell you for the hundredth time, I see no tall, dark, handsome, nothing in your future. 
You don't understand. I can't allow my son to pay for me. Look, <laughs> as soon as I get back to Florida, I promise you I'll mail you a check. Why don't you just let him pay and then you can pay him back? The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sheffield, Anthony Hopkins called again, and he wants to know whether he should bring his own wheelchair. You're having a party here? No, we're having an intervention. An intervention? <laughs> Who's intervening? Is a friend of ours on drugs, and we're going to confront him. Uh, Sheffield! Oh, God, Uncle Myron. The nightmare continues. <laughs> I want you to meet my grandson, Robbie. Myron, not now. Hit it! Race guys are gonna clear up but on a Lady, will you wipe my nose? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't you have any parents? Yeah, but they're busy. J.B. Binghamton, the investment banker, is your father? Yes. Hello. <laughs> hey, Bobby. I have some good juice. Huh? After Paul O'Neill hits his first home run. Yeah, <laughs> Love has been found. You should have married you! <laughs> lifetime. Romance and I don't ask for much. Unfold. Pizza, a turkey. What's his wild little pack? I'm sick of being your face, Barry! Yeah. Let him yeah. like it! I'll tell you what! Yeah, I think I've seen you in a club. You talk about a lot of everyday things, right? Right. Yeah, I remember you. <laughs> remember me? I said I'd come back with someone, and I did. Surprised? No, I believed you. Oh, oh hello. I'm Craig. Hi. <laughs> well. Hello, young man. Max. <laughs> Who's this? I say, aren't we lovely? We certainly are. I'd like to return this jacket. Certainly. May I ask why? For spite. <laughs> spite? That's right. I don't care for the salesman that sold it to me. And these are my beautiful twins playing with me at work. Thank God NASA has daycare. Oh, so does the UN. You know, my little boutress can say Jungle Gym in 12 languages. <laughs> Cece, does your employer provide daycare? Well, actually, I don't have any children yet. Oh. Enough talk, Jetty. Not for me. I love chatting. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I can't do this. I can't go through with it. Not even for him. Who? Your husband! <laughs> Man, this song sucks. I am so burnt out! I can't play anymore! Why can I get in touch with my anger? Oh, Dr. Miller, I'm so sorry to barge in on you this way. I hope it's not too much of an imposition. <laughs> it's all right, friend. Now, where was I? Your father disapproves of you. <laughs> you like Chinese food? Because I once went to a great Szechuan restaurant in this neighborhood. I don't remember the exact address. Uh, excuse me, you must know where the Chinese restaurant is around here. Why must I know? Because I'm Chinese? You think I know where all the Chinese restaurants are? Oh, ask all of our Chinaman for rotation or less than no, I just, I just told you the mailman. You would know the neighborhood. Oh, hello, American Joe. Which way to Hamburg hot dog? Yeah, I'd like to cancel my mail. Certainly. How long would you like us to hold it? Oh, no, no, no. I don't think you'd get me. I want out permanently. I'll handle this, Violet. Why don't you take your three-hour break? <laughs> I'm calm down, everyone. No one's canceling any mail. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. Fancy, don't forget the cardinal rule. Never come between a man and his nanny. You won't win. You're right, you're right. I see that happen a hundred times. She's after your job. Is this uh, Jerry Seinfeld's man? Well, not anymore. He traded it to me for some Hollywood memorabilia. I'm so stupid. What? I'm so stupid. Hey, nice to meet you. Hi, 
I'm Fran. Hi, Josh Passon. And Ethan. Oh, you bought that dress just for the audit, didn't you? Wow. <laughs> I hope you don't try to write it off. Hi, right, can I help you? Yes, we'd like some wedding invitations. Oh, well, congratulations. <sighs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. When's the wedding? June. Late June. Oh, well, we have quite a few to pick from. They're arranged in order of price. The most expensive are in the front. Mm -hmm. Everybody calm down. Look, darling, my daughter is getting married in 19 hours and 9 seconds. Is there something that we could do to expedite the situation? Are you trying to bribe me with a candy bar? Yeah. Finally, at this point in the ceremony, I like to say a few words about the couple embarking on their life. But I think the sentiments were best expressed by Barbara, who just last night stood right here and sang, what are you doing the rest of your life? Oh. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. Dr. Board has been called away, but her associate can see you. Oh, but when will she be back? I don't want some second-rate associate. Visitors now, but he's weak, so you should only go in one at a time. Thank you. Thanks for taking such good care of them. We really appreciate it. Henrietta. What is the phonograph? No, that too is incorrect. Fran, would you like to try? <laughs> <laughs> the name Thomas was made famous in 1880 for this household invention. What is tungsten or wolfram? We were looking for what is tungsten or wolfram. <laughs> Answer. Is this a repeat? <laughs> no, no, no. Just lately I've been thinking a lot clearer. This household invention. Stuart. What is the light bulb? No, oh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Fran, my finger a whole size. Remember what that doctor said? I'm getting old. I'm turning into your mother. Happy, <laughs> <laughs> oh. sweetie, relax. Let's talk about it. I'm here for you. Get me these in a seven. <laughs> competition and our current leader Fran Fine That's how we used to talk to each other. Remember sweetheart? Yes, dear. But then Dr. Bort gave us the tools to rebuild our marriage. And now it's perfect. We're not married. Get out now. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, a uh, uh, ticket for Kramer. Here it is. I need some ID. Oh, yeah. First No, I forgot my wallet. Well, I can't give it to you then. Are you kidding me? I'm afraid not. Come on, just look at me, huh? Now tell me I'm not Kramer. I... I'm sorry. I need proof. Look, I'll drive out here tomorrow and I'll show you the ID. I got nothing to do all day. Neither do I. But without ID, I need confirmation from the person who left the ticket. Where's the phone? Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Would Joel Rifkin report to the stadium office? Joel Rifkin, telephone. Who would be calling me here? He's not the murderer. <laughs> Hello, Maggie. This is Carlo. You lie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, darling. Make love to the camera. 
Et voilà, that's it, that's beautiful, yes. Oh, hi, Fred. Uh, hello. It's Elaine. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm wondering whether you can hey, help me. Hey, I remember you. Oh. Wait, don't tell me, I never forget a condition. You, you came in about ticks. No. Worms. Look. Lice! Just... You had head lice. <laughs> of course Zach and I have been dating. What'd you think? I was the office skank? Well... Well, we've been dating for three months between you and me and anyone else you want to tell. <laughs> oh, man. Isn't that Zach? Yeah. Aren't you upset? Yes! <laughs> I should have said this sooner. I wanted to do it someplace nice. Oh, wow. All right, here goes. I've been thinking we should start seeing other people. What? Since when you've been thinking that? Since I saw Heather Biblo. I can't believe you're telling me this. What, were you stringing me along because I'm your best sales girl? That's the other thing. Heather needs a job. <laughs> We were walking down the block right by your house, and I was just about to break up with him, and then all of a sudden he started to twitch. Hello, yes, I need an ambulance at 129 West 31st Street, apartment 5A. Tell him to hurry, hurry! It's an ambulance. <laughs> Thank you. Say, are they even gonna say two words to us? I mean, how am I gonna get to know Theo better? Franny, leave him alone. Every minute they don't talk to us, they make another million. <laughs> we don't Here, make put it. Your hands Let's up. go tomorrow or the next day. Oh, you have your ticket, you have to go now. We'll never make it. Don't say that. Look, well, it, it takes 45 minutes to get there. It takes 45 minutes to get there. That'll only leave me five minutes to get to the plane. Shut up and pass! Hey, Gracie. Hi. Hi. I'm Dr. Link. I'm covering for Dr. Sherwin. Oh. Don't worry, I'm very gentle. Francis, I don't want a gentle doctor. That's Gentile. Oh, okay, let's take a look. Well, that doesn't look too serious. You'll be fine. Please, please, it, but it's really, really itchy. <laughs> oh, it's Christmas Eve and I've got things to do. Don't you know who I am? Yes, we do. And we've been good all year. Well, height is one thing, but if you think that I'm going to set one foot on a scale, you might as well just put me into a cell and throw away the key. What next? Because, frankly, I'm feeling very violated. We're going to have to strip search you. Okay. Now, now down this time, it's complicated. You go down there past stage 12, and next to it, what do you know? 13. <laughs> and surprise, 14 is after that. <laughs> right? No need to be so snide. Really? You know, he's a big time producer. Really? <laughs> what do you produce? Broadway. Theater. <laughs> All right, move on, move on. These things cost a buck fifty each. Did you even listen to Vincenzo's reasons for taking back what he said? I quote, Miss Hansen and I had feelings for each other, but I couldn't risk the romance. She was like a mother to my children. What the kids are doing me? Her, me, her. I told you she's busy. She can't come to the phone now. You better tell your boyfriend to stop calling here. Oh, he's not my boyfriend. It's that bald guy with the glasses who's always here with them. He's trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> uh, Mom, my life is over. The psychic was right about Val, and she's right about me. Can I get you anything else? Um, yeah, I think my wife and I will have a little more coffee. Okay, <laughs> and a check from my husband. <laughs> Could we get a picture of you and your date? Oh, you brought a date? Oh, oh wait, one minute, honey. Okay. Fish. Oh, boy, I cannot believe who is sitting right over there. Oh, you mean Jack Nicholson? Jack. Jack, over here. How you doing? Do you like him or do you like him like him? <laughs> like, like. Looks aren't that important to me, you know? Miss Bennis, are you chewing gum? <laughs> Is 
George here? Not yet. The other guy. It's... You. It's really you. Oh, um, I, I'm such a huge fan of yours. Would you mind signing this poster for me? My pleasure. Oh, thank you so much. Here you go. Ah, thank you so much, Mr. Camaro. <laughs> Mr. Casita. <laughs> well, whatever. Oh, thank you. Thanks. All right, all right, I'm leaving. What was that about? That woman tried to get in with a Xerox membership card. <laughs> and it looks so phony. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm surprised you didn't dip it in tea first to give it that aged look. Then you paste on one of those magnetic strips from the back of an old Blockbuster's <laughs> card before giving it that authentic look of laminating it. <laughs> and I would also like to take this time to personally thank our gracious host, Frank Costanza, who has earned the Silver Circle Award and is our unanimous choice for the United Volunteer Representative of the Month. <laughs> Due to his tireless effort, he has personally raised over $22,000, and that's a lot of wheelchairs. <laughs> and I'm thought that the baby was stolen, and Nikki went to jail. Crickets, baby. It was Ashley and Snappers. Oh, is it moving? Walk faster than this. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Here, I'm out of here. Oh, now it's moving. Oh, yeah, I knew it. Hey! Where to? That's cute. That's really cute. To Dakota Williams. Ah, I'm just back to you all. <laughs> Welcome. I do not stand on ceremony. And just to prove it, I'll drink anything you got. <clears throat> I work in hotels. Oh, He's better. Hotel. Away from all your little petty bickerings and interference. You know, Tolstoy used to write in the village square. The faces inspired him. He did not need inspiration. God spoke through his pen. <laughs> First of all, uh, let me say how sorry I am for your loss. <laughs> oh, nice. It's okay. I cried like a baby too when I realized how much money we're gonna inherit. Frighten, <laughs> please. Elaine. Um. What? Uh, uh, I, was, I, I tell Maureen I'll just call her back later. Who was crying? No one. I'm sorry, Mr. Pitt, that that won't happen again. I'm sure it won't. But someone was crying, and I want to know who it was. Well, it's a long story, OK? But my stupid friend Jerry told my other friend Noreen that she was, uh, you know, hitting on him. And so I called her to see what was up. Uh, going on, and I accidentally got her boyfriend, who is this, you know. <laughs> who are you? Sorry to disturb you, but we're from the Professional Butlers Association. We're here to observe Niles. <laughs> May we come in? In here? Now? Oi, I thought you guys weren't supposed to be here until Monday. Well, it's our policy to show up early, to catch the prospective member Unaware. <laughs> but unfortunately, Niles isn't here, is he, darling? Uh, no, darling, I'm afraid Niles is out. Well, y'all come back and see us, you hear? Actually, darling. I closed down today, and when I open again, it will be old Pakistani restaurant. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're a very special person. Very special. I am such a great guy. <laughs> Who else would have gone to the trouble to help this poor immigrant? I am special. My mother was right. Oh, excuse me. This is, this is probably a stupid question because obviously you've never been on a diet in your life. Oh, me? Hardly. Get rid of the Dexatrim. Hey. 
Corbin Burnson. How you doing? Jay Leno! I'm Fran Fine. Nice to see you, nice to see you. Well, I can't tell you how many times I've gone to bed with you. <laughs> well, well, you know, I used to get around a lot, and you don't really remember a lot of people, but... No, not to bed like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Although, I must admit, I have fallen asleep before you were done. Well, as long as you don't fake a laugh, that's really... <laughs> My Uncle Leo, I had lunch with him the other day. He's one of these guys that anything goes wrong in life, he blames it on anti-Semitism. You know what I mean? The spaghetti, <laughs> not al dente, I'll cook anti-Semite. They're right there, yeah. yeah. Luke. On Tuesday the 19th, here in New York, there will be a benefit for the Goodwill Industries, a used clothing organization that provides services to the needy. One of the performers will be comedian Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry, good morning. Thank you, Brian. And speaking of clothing, that is a very, very unusual shirt you have on. Uh -huh, yeah. Brian Gumbo. Excuse me. Fran Fine, our Uncle Sammy recommended me. Oh, yeah, Fran. <laughs> you made it. Because I did kind of tell him that I was also a little more popular than I am. You know... Oh, what a great audience. Thank you. You know, to me... To me, nothing says debutante like a leopard skin <laughs> cocktail dress. <laughs> Cancelled? But I was supposed to be on tomorrow night. Yeah, but then, you know, uh, some people were telling me about that uh, little flap out there at the uh, junior high school assembly. I open up the paper and this is what I have to read about? <laughs> I fell right off the toilet. <laughs> I, my back went out again. I couldn't move. The super had to come and help me up. I was half naked. It's not true! Every day it's something else with you. I don't know anything about you anymore. Who are you? What kind of a life are you leading? Who the hell knows what you're doing? Maybe you're making porno films. Yeah, I'm buck naked. You're who? Buck naked? <laughs> <laughs>